Well, finally going to start working on the second module right now on Reed's Train Stuff. Hi, Reed here from Reed's Train Stuff. This channel is all about showing you some basic techniques to help you build your own model railroad. So if you want some tips and ideas or you just like watching trains run around, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of my upcoming videos. Well, welcome back or hello, it's your first time here. Uh, in today's video, my uh, layout rehab, I'm finally going to start on the uh, second module, or door, um, of the layout. So um, what I'm going to be doing is, sort of like how I started this rehab, I'm actually going to be starting doing the river. So I'm just going to show um, how I cut it out and get it all set um, for future things. So like I said, I thought I'd finally uh, clean off the uh, other module, take it from this to this, so I could actually get motivated and do some work on it. So I've got that, and I'm also just going to quickly show you, I've been trying out some uh, new scenery ideas, and uh, I'm just going to show you quickly those, and in the future episodes I'll show you how I do that. So anyway, uh, let's get into it. Alright, since new I have cleaned off, I don't work on it. Work on it. I, did, I thought I'd actually start doing some stuff over here, so it'll actually motivate me to get things done and hopefully not fall crap all over it. So my plan here is, as you can see, with my little green line here, I'm going to run a river that follows around around the track, but I'm going to have to cut out a section over here and a section over there. Where I'm going to put some bridges. <clears throat> so, I said in one of my previous videos about doing this, hopefully it'll work. If not, it's uh, going to make me have to redo this entire section. So, hopefully it'll work. So, what I'm actually going to do, I said I'm going to cut out, not basically sort of cookie cutter style, out where the river is going to go. But I'm actually going to cut it right down to the bottom of the, the hollow core door. And hopefully I can get this part out in one piece. <clears throat> I'm going to use that as the base of the river. So what I'm going to do now is we'll uh, start cutting things up. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my Dremel and I'm going to uh, cut out the bit of track for where I'm going to put my bridges. So um, what I will be doing is we'll be cutting it uh, about three centimeters which is about an inch or so so i've got a bit of play there and so i can better abutments and whatever so with any luck this will all work out and uh, we'll have trains running over a bridge All right, well, there's uh, that little section cut out. If we pan over here, there's that little section cut out. So, so now uh, that's all done. I guess it's uh, time to start cutting out the river. One thing I did have to do before I started doing this was uh, pull off my fascia. And as you can see, my fascia's in two bits because when I originally did the layout, I just had it around the door. And then later on I decided to extend it and make it look better. And it sort of did, except for a big crack mark. But tension is I'm going to rip it all down and I'll have, have my fascia right around. Right around like that full height. Alright, so now it's time to cut it out. Which is going to be fun because I can't adjust my jigsaw um, 
to be low enough to just run it along without hitting the bottom. So I'm actually going to have to hold it while doing it. So here we go. For anyone that's interested, and that's what an in inside of a hollow core door looks like. So, anyway, we sort of uh, got that out alright. So, let's clear all that up and carry on. Alright, well, there's the uh, first part of doing my new scene with the river and bridges and everything. You see, it's uh, fit in there really nicely just gonna have to add a little bit here where the uh, actual timber timber was but I'll work that one out a bit later Let's come around so you can sort of give you that so it just gives me a bit more depth so unfortunately I did uh, Whack that, but that'll be easily repaired later, so. Alright, well, that's where that is, and hopefully it'll motivate, motivate, motivate me to get more into this side, so. More to come. All right, I've also been uh, said just trying out some a few different things, doing some scenery just over in this little corner, good little practice area before I start over there. Um, let's just come in a bit closer and I'll show you what I've been doing. You see there, those little tufts there, they're actually uh, Martin Welberg weeds. Um, they're basically weeds for HO, but for end scale, I think they make nice little, uh, like, bit of bushes, shrubbery. Got a few little bits of few little trees there. A dead tree. See, just some, some rocks lying around. Um, a few dead branches, a few twigs. And I've been working on these new pine trees, evergreens. Um, really, really nice, which I'll be showing you a bit more later on. Let's sort of get down this angle. And I said, I think that's coming out really nice. So, like I said, I'll uh, show you some more of that in future videos. All right, there's uh, the beginning of work on the second module. And, or other words, have their butcher, a hollow core door. Uh, I think that worked out quite well. Uh, it's also as I showed you that quick little video there of uh, make sure you don't have anything on your layout if you're going to be using a jigsaw or not like that or you'll have a little mini railroad earthquake so yeah so anyway at least I've got that ready and now um, as I said getting it starting it will inspire me to get into it and get more done on that side uh, and thinking about looking at it now of uh, widening the river a bit and because I think it's a little bit narrow for what my, I want to do so we'll see what happens there and also uh, with that little corner bit I showed you where I was just practicing with the scenery with a little forest area um, you know Martin Welberg um, tufts which I, they are great especially if you know have the ability to make your own all the time um, they're brilliant and also those new trees that I've been trying to build. So once I uh, get into that, I'll do a video showing you how I do all that. So coming up shortly too. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, well, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with anyone you think may enjoy it. 
And of course, please, as always, leave a comment down below. All right, well, my next video, um, I'm not too sure where I'll be. I could be doing some more scenery over here, or I could be continuing on the new, the second module. So, as always, uh, I guess you'll find out when I find out. So, anyway, as I said, it's been great having you here on Read Trade Stuff. We'll see you next time. Bye.